Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these kinds of videos, probably about two, maybe three years, so try to bear with me through the cringe of this. <clears throat> Basically, what this video is, is a continuation of the trauma that's going on with Skunk Works right now. As you may have heard that uh, Blue, Blue the Robot had shown a few DMs from Katie and them, uh, basically stating that they wanted to do a collaboration with Katie. She responded in a very, very poor way and then put decided to put those DMs on Twitter itself. I'm going to read a couple of these and then I'm going to get into a continuation of unseen stuff that I've only posted once or twice throughout the entire Star Citizen community informing you guys that this is not unheard of with her. This is actually pretty common the way she does with DMs. <clears throat> so let's get into this. Blue the Robot had reached out to Katie and basically what they said is, Hey Kate, been meaning to reach out. A lot of people have been telling me to reach out to you lately to possibly get some footage of your org in action. My recent video of Star Citizen has gained some decent traction, but totally understand if you don't want to have the time. Thank you. Then Katie responds saying, no chance. The org is an asset. You want footage of an org, build your own. That right there alone is not the way to go about this. That is completely disrespectful and could have been said a million other ways. Blue the Robot then responds saying, I mean no, no disrespect. I was just told to reach out to you, and I wouldn't get them in a bad light. Heard there was some epic moments in a cool territory game you run with other orcs. Katie then responds saying, let me explain things more consistently, or concisely, I'm sorry. Skunk Works is a walled garden I have built for the purpose of making content. I do not give away the asset to rival channels for any reason. We will also, we also do not need additional promotion because the channel yeah. provides plenty of that and our, member, or, and our numbers are always high. So basically what she's saying is she doesn't want anybody coming in, helping with promotion or anything like that, and that it's a walled garden that only Skunk Works is going to be a part of the videos. I guess she's trying to say that she doesn't want any other orgs coming in or anybody else for promotion. I'm not sure I would word it that way. Blue the Robot then responds saying, I wouldn't consider me to be a rival channel. In fact, I don't consider any other channel on YouTube to be a rival one. Just wanted to just, ugh, just would like to promote collaboration. And again, I'm new to the verse, so I figured I'd ask, but thank you for your time. Katie then responds saying, it, it's easy to take, we're all in this together attitude when you're new to the YouTube ecosystem, but make no mistake, this is a business and it is cutthroat. I, I get what she's saying, but it's just, a simple no thank you could have simply sufficed from the beginning. Uh, Blue the Robot then responds for the last message saying, if you believe that it is, I wish you nothing but the best. Blue the Robot here has been nothing but polite, respectful, you couldn't ask for a better conversation from his side. Or their side, I'm sorry. Katie, however, it's... No. It's so fucking terrible. So after those DMs got leaked, that what Katie was saying in a very, very negative way, she then went on to YouTube and then put this out. I'm not going to read the entire thing. Basically, to sum it up, it's the normal bullshit that you get from any other creator that when they screw up with something, they make a public apology and it's just... You make up every excuse in the book to make it look like you're not the bad person in this situation. It was just a bad moment. I can tell you 100% certain, this is 100% genuine bullshit. Now, the reason why I say that this is 100% genuine bullshit is when I scroll down here a second this is a conversation that I've had between me and her as well uh, just so you guys understand where this DM is coming from <laughs> originally I had joined Skunk Works 
I was in there for, I'd say, three months or so. I had joined AD Katie's task force under Task Force Alpha. It wasn't going so well. She was... I, I don't have any proof of this because she's already deleted all the messages, so take this as you will. In my opinion, she was treating me like shit, and it didn't matter what I did. It just wasn't going well. So I basically left Skunk Works... Someone had me rejoin because they wanted me a part of their task force that they were rebuilding, essentially. And they told me, you know, hey, there's been multiple people come to me saying Katie's done this, done that, and they understand where I'm coming from. So I said, screw it. I will join back. Uh, after about maybe two weeks or so, it, it just, with it re rebuilding, it just didn't seem like a good fit for me because they were in my opinion, too busy with real life experiences and it's just... So I moved over to a different task force to Task Force Echo. Uh, after about another week had gone by, Katie messaged me out of the blue. Didn't even message her, didn't even say anything about her, just randomly. <laughs> she then responded to me saying, you made the right call sticking with Echo. Because I would have just banned you for trying to re-enter Alpha. Like I said earlier, I was in Task Force Alpha, I left, and that's where that came from. When I came back, she said, I took pity on you and allowed you back. Remember that. That right there is just downright disrespectful, talking down to people bullshit. You do not do that kind of shit. That's where I was saying earlier. This is not new with her. This is completely normal. Essentially, I had sent somebody in Skunk Works. Mind you, that's the same war guy was in. Video footage of what we were doing. And I did not send it to her. So she basically threw a fucking major bitch fit about it. And flat out banned me from Skunk Works. All because I didn't send her video footage. This is a different Discord that we were in, so that way we could basically vent about shit going on in Skunk Works, and that way everything would smooth out, basically. But basically, I said, Echo, I've been banned, and said, for what reason, and then, yeah. Okay, so this part, I was high that night, so <laughs> uh, ignore that. Then, one of the Echo members came in and said, so apparently you sent video footage to another member, and not her. Same per or not same person, but a different person from the same task force. We are in voice chat with Katie right now. She sounds sober. She is saying that you uploaded footage to this person's link and not hers, which she is interpreting as YouTube competition. Another person said, we are in voice with her now, trying to explain that it was Echo internally. Now that I have shown you my side of the story as well, there is one more thing I would like to show you that I would like to mention. This person said, I am surprised it took this long until Katie finally got called out publicly. There has been a lot of internal issues going on with the org itself. Just to name a few, multiple staff members were removed for disapproved Katie's actions. Another guy was kicked from the org simply because he mistakenly uploaded a video of the org training session to the wrong person instead to Katie. The video only had one view. Just so everybody knows, that was not me. That's somebody else. During New Year's Eve, she claimed to be drunk and removed half the org, but didn't bother adding them back. And not to mention, two task forces, Charlie and Foxtrot, have splintered from the org because they couldn't stand the leadership there. When orgs get to a certain size, there's bound to be org drama. But Katie is the problem here. It's her pump... Pre uh. It's her pretentious personality that keeps causing all these issues. And yes, I have my own unpleasant personal interactions with her. And thank God someone finally is exposing who she really is. <clears throat> now, there's a couple things wrong here. They're not entirely wrong. The first thing wrong is... When, he's, when this person said two task forces, Charlie and Foxtrot, have splintered off... There's been more than two. When I was there, I was told that we were up to five, maybe six. Echo, the one I was in, had just been rebuilt in six months 
into me being in there. Uh, Charlie definitely left. That's correct. But Foxtrot, on the other hand, Katie wasn't the main issue in that situation. It was time zone pressures. They are they were an Australian group, and they were really the only Australian group or Australian time zone group there. So it was very hard for them to find group activities to do with anyone other than themselves. But don't get me wrong. They definitely had... Katie definitely had a part in them leaving too. Uh, but everything else that is said in this message... It's actually 100% true. And that's the sad part here. That is extremely sad. Now... One other thing I want to explain is, like, with the Charlie, the Task Force Charlie situation. I'm going to say exactly what I put. From my understanding, Charlie left due to the BS Katie was, was doing. During their Skunk Opley event, which is an event that they hold once a year, whenever, it, yeah. During their Skunk Opley event, they would do exactly what the rules say, but take those rules and use them in a way Katie didn't like. For example, the rules of Skunk Opley said the location had seven raven spots, which is uh, A2, Hammerhead, C2, you get the gist here. Uh, <clears throat> had seven raven spots available to use multi-crew ships. And a C2 only required one spot. Charlie would then bring seven C2s to that fight, which is still in the rules, it just... Katie did not like it. Now, I'm not saying this is exactly what happened, just so we're all clear. This is just an example of what they were doing. And from my understanding, Katie was changing the rules of Skunkopoly in Alpha's favor, her own task force's favor, all because she did not like what they were doing. Now, I don't have any proof of this, so take that as you will. 